February of 2022. It's been a crazy month, so let's talk about it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about everything that's been going on on my journey zero to 100. If you guys have been following from all the way from the start, you can actually see one of my first videos. It was kind of funny. Uh, well, let me play the clip. I found a couple properties and put properties on the contract, but I have not had my first deal yet. As you can tell, a lot of things have changed since then, right? Uh, including my business and myself. But uh, we're gonna talk about all the kind of businesses I'm running right now and everything that's going on of this month. So every end of the month, beginning of uh, month, I am actually going to be uploading this kind of update. So subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. How a wholesaler that started from nothing have been progressing for a year and six months, seven months, something like that. Even the reason I created this video is just to show that people that it's possible to do and to show that, you know, you can come from nothing not knowing anything about wholesaling and still can achieve a lot in this business and i am a living example of that so let's talk about what's going on this month well let's talk about wholesaling right so what's been going on so first of all i've closed on four properties in february of 2022 which is a good amount of properties but i want to be very transparent and honest with you guys most of my properties that i do close on they're not always uh you know five ten fifteen thousand dollar properties Sometimes I have properties with a lower margin. So this month just ended up being that all of them were that lower margin. So overall, we're looking at about $12,000 gross profit this month, which is a good month. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, but uh, that's not where I want to be. Obviously, I have a lot more deals. I actually have about seven or eight deals, if I'm not mistaken, in the projects to close next month. And they are actually a little bit better deals. So stay tuned and I'll tell you guys about when they're closed end of next month all four of my properties that i closed this month have been land deals so and i actually had a couple of other properties that were supposed to close but they had issues that's another thing that i talk about a lot um but just with other wholesalers with people that reach out to me over my youtube channel instagram my uh, my student and my courses i talk about that a lot I was, uh, don't consider that if you have a deal if you have another contract that it will go through a lot of things can happen and in my situation it did happen one of the deals that I actually had going on we were going to close on the deal uh, but at one point the seller just decided that they don't want to sell their property now i know you probably have heard other wholesalers talk about oh you can file a memorandum and all that stuff you technically can but it's not that easy you have to have your contract set up the right way it has to be worth your time it has to be a decent deal to do all that it's a, it's a tough process it's not that easy process i never felt the reason to actually even go through with it recently i did add something to my contract that allows me to do that if i do want to but i think it's there for leverage instead of actually uh, going through with the process uh, i don't really want to waste my time too much and most of my properties like i said are land deals there are some big deals that which that could come very handy in those deals but on the smaller deals uh, is it really worth the trouble i don't really know i think it's better just to let it go but obviously it uh, you know your financial situation you know how hungry you are for deals so you would know better what to do so in my opinion uh, you can include that in your contracts, but it's not always necessary to go through with it. It's just good to mention to the seller that, hey, there is something in this contract that you cannot back out of this contract for no reason. So you might as well stick with the contract so you don't get into more issues. But we had a little rent, right? So we're not talking about that. The, that we can talk about another time if you guys do want to talk about how to prevent you from losing deals and what you can do to save those deals. So like I said, all of my properties have been land deals. Uh, some of them have been very, a little bit more complicated than others. Um, one actually was supposed to cl close this month as well, but it's going to close next month because we need an extra week on extension on the contract, which I don't mind, obviously. I'm okay with extending the contracts for a week. It just doesn't count for this week's, uh, for this month's a profit also another thing you guys might know in my first video of this year i actually mentioned that i'm going to be expanding throughout the entire state of florida and doing deals all over the place and i have been doing that and uh we have expanded in jacksonville we expanded um i've been doing deals in ocala for quite some time now and then i have deals going down south florida and you know i kind of get a handle of what's going on in florida market right now it seems to be that florida market is getting tougher and tougher as it goes and you know when especially when it comes to houses multifamily houses all that it's getting pretty hard it's getting hard to get deals uh because less people want to sell the the fed is raising rates and all that stuff and a lot of people are moving to florida and they have been moving for years before coronavirus was a thing and when COVID happened i think it just sped up the process like crazy but that's also talk for another video if you guys want to talk about how 
the Florida market is doing. I, I can break it down for you guys a little bit. If you do want that, leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate that. But the expansion to other different cities have been going pretty decent. Not as fast as I would like to, but I have been expanding and making connections. I just recently filled the found a buyer that wants to buy land in Orlando. I found a buyer that has uh, that wants to buy land in Jacksonville. I haven't closed anything with them yet, but I'm in the process of trying to figure out what kind of properties will work for them. Uh, and I think if I establish that connection with the buyers, and if I had one or two solid buyers in every single city, I would be very happy because I can definitely wholesale it to them and just kind of don't have to look for other buyers. That's another thing. It's very, very important to establish connection with buyers. And in my opinion is that obviously you have to be careful. You, you have to not let the buyers take advantage of you, but you also want to have established connection because in the end of the day, and I've mentioned this to so many people is that if you have one or two solid buyers, especially when it comes to land, uh, when it comes to houses, it's a little different, but in general, even then, you want to have even a couple solid buyers. You don't need a thousand people buyer list. You can have a couple solid buyers and you can wholesale all your properties to them. So my idea is that if I can get a couple good buyers in every single big city to start with this year, then I can feel confident that I can wholesale in those cities and move forward to selling those properties to them. Another thing, I actually started a new mail marketing campaign, direct mail to sellers. And I've never done that before. I have done that in a very small batch. It was like under a hundred mailers, but it wasn't like I was not consistent with it. And now I wanted to give a shot to, to uh, direct mail marketing. Uh, and I want to see if it works. I'm direct mail marketing to a certain city uh, in Florida. And I want to try out that smaller city because I have a lot of buyers that want to buy there and I'm really curious to see if they are going to if the sellers are going to call me back after the the mailers that they will get I'll definitely update you guys on the next video of zero to hundred to tell you if I've got any leads from it at all or I've got any calls back it's about 360 mailers that I have sent out so let's see how that goes another thing that you guys might be interested in I actually started a land course on Udemy um, a lot of you guys might know or might not know I did have a Udemy course that actually I mean I'm gonna put it right here somewhere so um, it actually became a bestseller so far on uh, Udemy and I'm really happy that it has it's a very inexpensive course that teaches you pretty much everything from start to the end about wholesaling and the land course is just a very very comprehensive land course talking about stuff I did start that course because I was teaching one of my VAs how to run comparables on land and I realized how difficult that is and how difficult land is in general so I started a separate course just for land because I feel like that's a very good uh, type of market to get into if you're a wholesaler but enough with courses okay let's let's get on to more interesting stuff recently I actually made a video with Adam Nasser I'm hoping I'm pronouncing Adam's last name correct Adam is such a cool dude he's actually the creator of smarter contact that's a texting platform that you guys might know about if you've been researching texting or done texting before you probably heard about this platform and I actually have reviewed this platform in uh, this video right here we actually talked about that platform back in the day and it was really good platform that I like there were a couple things I did not like about it however so recently Adam reached out to me and said hey man I actually have cool updates coming for smarter contact would you want me to tell you about it so we hopped onto a call I actually recorded it for you guys so that was the previous video if you want to check out that video it's also going to be right here we talked about the update coming out to smarter contact 2.0 which actually does a lot of cool things like drip sequence if you don't, guys don't know what that is is that certain things happen when you text a person and let's say they reply or don't reply then the certain other thing will happen after that it's like a function that keeps going it's actually a way to automate your business and I really do like drip sequences and I've used it before so it's kind of cool that platform like that that has really good skip trace and other things bringing that up um, on their platform so I was really excited to actually hop on the call with Adam but we had a really cool talk besides the fact that he talked about his platform he actually gave his insight on what's going on with the texting platform platforms overall what SMS text blasting is it still valid in 2022 and everything like that and as a person that invested so much time and money in a, in a platform like his I think he uh, would know if something is gonna going to happen but as far as I understood he said in a short or medium plans there should be no interruptions in texting and uh, but he talked about it a little bit better so if you want to go check out the video I, I will leave the link down below another thing is is that it, this is not the best news but it, it just, it's news right I'm, I'm very transparent with you guys I got to share everything my planner sales have not been going how I would like them to and uh, it's kind of like a painful truth but not exactly I really enjoy the product and and I think there are a couple reasons why it hasn't been going the way that I would like it to. For the past week or so, or even two weeks, we haven't sold a single product. 
and I think there's a deeper underlying issue there. The issue there is that I'm only one person and wholesaling takes so much of my time because it's not just me anymore. It's not just me sitting here and texting people, whatever. I have a, a team of four virtual assistants. Well, yes, one of them is a manager, but I still have to. She's been doing it for about month, almost two months for me now. So she's slowly getting the handle of it, but she's still learning certain things. So I have to help them. And as you may know, cause I've talked about this before, I don't have management companies for my VAs. I do all the management myself. You know how you can hire, and you might've heard it, that you can hire a VA through a management company and they will help you manage your VA, but they will take you, charge you a little bit more money. But I didn't want to do that. First of all, because I didn't have the money when I hired my first VA. Well, I didn't have the extra money to actually pay them to uh, train my, my VA or manage them. So I wanted to do everything myself. And when I started doing everything myself, I realized that I do really enjoy managing them. I'm gonna stick with that. That's why I have the manager VA so she can kind of help me, uh, even though she still does texting and does follow-ups and other stuff. So yeah, because wholesaling takes so much of my time, planner has been kind of in the background. It hasn't been my main thing that I've been concentrating on. And it makes sense why it's not progressing as fast as I would like it to, because obviously you have to do marketing for this kind of product. I have done marketing on this YouTube channel. I've done marketing on my Instagram. I've done marketing on my Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And certain people have bought it that people that, yes, there are kind of people that I know, but they're not people that are like close to me uh, that have bought it. And they emailed me and left me reviews. Um, I'm a a couple of the reviews right here you can, guys can see that actually the reviews that we've been getting on the planner have been really nice and all those people I didn't really ask them to leave a positive review I did ask them and, uh, and I'm honest with you I did ask them like hey if you whatever you think about the planner please leave a review and let me know what you think and then you know I'll, every single one of the people that left review on my planner I actually reached out to them after that I was like did you leave a review because you know you, you know me or did you leave a review like that five star review because you enjoyed the product and all every single one of them said they actually enjoyed the product one guy even told me that he uh, the planner helped him to organize himself to go through school and everything and he's been having insane benefits from using the planner and stuff like that motivates me you know um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to stay motivated sometimes when something doesn't go as you plan it to go but when you look at certain little things little progression throughout the road or you can see how you're affecting other people's life positively you can you want to keep going uh, you don't want to stop so in my opinion, I'm going to keep going. I will speed up my marketing uh, on the planner. If you guys do want to check out the planner, however, it is in the link down below. It's a genuine brand planner. I really love the planner. Let me actually show it to you guys again. If you guys never seen it, this is how it looks when it arrives. Obviously, this is the, the planner itself. The outside is actually really cool material. We did really good material out here. And you can tell, I mean, you can tell my horrible handwriting that I have been using it. But uh, yeah, this is the planner. It, it's, it's really cool. I mean, I enjoy the planner. I've said that to many friends of mine or a family. I've told them that, hey, uh, in the end of the day, if no one buys the planner, which I hope is not the case, I hope people do enjoy the product and they do purchase it and the product helps them in their life. But if no one does anything, I actually really <laughs> like the planner. I've created the planner because there has never been out there anything like this planner. And I was very uh, dedicated to create this type of product. And I'm happy with it myself. And <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I really would like other people to enjoy it as well. But that's part of the process. I think it's, uh, I, I want to do a little bit more marketing. Just see, I want to get reviews. I want to understand what people like, what people don't like. I'm really interested in to hearing those uh, feedback. I actually recently have been thinking about doing something else with the planner and actually adding like a little cool thing to it, but stay tuned to that. But as of right now, that's pretty much all I have going on. Uh, wholesaling have took pretty much every, every single uh, free minute of my day that I do have, which I don't really have free minute of my day. You know, I work for myself, I work a lot. But that's something that you sign up for when you become an entrepreneur, and I hope you guys do know that. But I wanna tell you guys, I really appreciate it. We hit almost 700 subscribers while I'm recording this. It's almost 700 on this channel. I really appreciate all of you guys subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, commenting, all that stuff. If you can't like this video, just because uh, this really helps with YouTube algorithm, I don't know if that's really a thing, but I've been noticing that the more likes the video gets, the more views it gets, and, and it's like a cycle that keeps going so if you did enjoy the video please leave a like i do really appreciate it subscribe to the channel for this kind of updates they are going to be coming every month and between that time there's going to be a lot of useful information as well but as always guys peace